because we got you know you know you know there's a lot of quantities out right now but nah for real man no, for real. i know no. i know a lot of quantities i'm kidding real with yeah. you but um you know like sometimes when you meet people you just meet people you feel me but you know when we met we kind of like in a situation where we had to kind of automatically look out for each other you yeah, feel me i remember i was like uh we're in new york or manhattan so i'm like man i'm about to go get a um lamb and rice you said man shit you going we all going you yeah. feel me and i was like all right bro different yeah, yeah. so you know we got Kwani amadette on yeah, the show sir. today man <laughs> this episode 30 man the way you had show this episode 30 man this is how i started off this platform man just pulling up on niggas, you find me going where you, wherever you was at. That's where, where you at came from. Oh. So, you know, just pulling up on, you know, artists, uh, businessmen, um, just the movers and shakers. And, bro, you all of that. You feel me? You all of that. So, we going, you know, we going to get into that, man. We going to get into that. You know, I, you know, I got my notes and everything. You know <laughs> I'm super professional now, you feel me? I'm a journalist now, you know? I had to really sit back and really was like, damn. Like, I'm capturing niggas' stories, you feel me? I'm, I'm capturing history, so like, oh, I'm a journalist, bro. So it's like, I gotta, you know? Yep. Really make sure you get, I get niggas' stories because you know, you know, tomorrow ain't promised. Yeah. So if, if you know, I, I'm able to capture history, you feel me? Your kids could be possibly look at this interview and be like, okay, and learn more. Because, you know, our kids don't really, they just know us from when they was born. Like, right. they don't really know when we was really, yeah. they age and we was really. Wow. For real. Yeah. Woo. Okay. going to catch the uh, daddy side. They don't, you feel yeah, they don't, they don't, they don't know when we was really wild and, you <laughs> feel me, doing right. the stuff that we trying to warn them about now, right. you feel me? So this gonna be a lifestyle conversation, man. Post traumatic out now, man. Post traumatic now. Why post traumatic? Because this is something that we all deal with. You man, feel me? I say why post traumatic? Well, you say why post traumatic? Like it's real in the community. Like it's very like like you can. Something can happen today, and, and you can walk past it, and then don't even think about it tomorrow. And then, like it, it hit you out of the blue. You know what I'm saying? Like it's the norm. It's the norm, and it's, it's, it's fucked up that the shit be so normal like that. You know what I'm saying? Like anything, shootouts, fucking anything, like anything. You know what I said about that too, Kwani? Before I said the same thing. Like, there's no way this should be normal. Like somebody die, and then. You know, we right back to dawn. I think it should be a day of mourning. Uh, you feel me? No matter who died, even if a homeless person died, right. I think it should be a day of mourning. What you saying, like a day every year? No. The day they die, you find out somebody died. You go you go on Murder Inc. right now and right. say Sunset just got killed. Such, such. It should be a day of mourning. Everything shut down. Right. And I guarantee you, going to change, bro. Yeah. Because these businesses, yo, bro, somebody die every day. So, it's a day of mourning every yeah, day. See, you feel that, that right there, probably, probably, I don't, I don't you it, never it, know. It's, you know it's, it's extreme. Yeah. You feel me? But sometimes, and not sometimes, right now, bro, we need extreme measures. No, for real. That's going on, because, bro, since I was born, I've never seen a good ball of you feel me? Like, this is what we was born into, you right. feel me? So it's like, damn, we gonna just keep letting the generations keep coming. Uh, it gotta be something extreme, you feel me? Yeah. So post-traumatic, man, like how does that personally affect you? Like, do you be having a good day that all of a sudden something hits you and then you just, it just change your whole mood? Like, you know, every day be a good day for me. So, you know, I always, I always get my hour, two hours of my, the, my time to myself where though I gotta separate myself from everybody and everything that's going on you know even even if it's like if it feel peachy and pieces of cream 
Like I, I separate myself for a minute because at the end of the day, I, I think to myself like, damn, bro, all this, all the hustling, all this grinding you've been doing, and all the people you lost in the midst of this. Like at the end of the day, they like, I, I, I like I know they watching you, but to, to, to celebrate with them, to feel me, to be able to celebrate with them would be a different feeling than it's just you and 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 the boys are uh, no nobody nobody there to feel like feel them, but it's. If you understand what I'm saying, like it's it's it's, it's like them them boys ain't gonna ever be filled because them people could never be replaced. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like, like even when I'm driving home alone, like damn, cuz are usually be in this passenger side with a nigga. He, he rolling the blunt or he like, hey, cuz take me over here or hey, cuz uh, I buy you something to eat or something, bro. That, 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 let's go here, Mari. We ain't family that's not taken in yet. You know what I'm saying? To me taking them long ass rides home and then it's like it's just me, you heard me. But I always in my head like guns right there, you feel me? That's always so I be feeling like, yeah, bro, that that feel that shit man, that pro matter shit real, bro, you feel me? Like alcohol became my best friend at one point in time, drinking heavy, you know what I'm saying? I, I was never a druggie, you know what I'm saying? So it's always drinking it. And doing or doing wrong shit drinking. Well, well you know, alcohol <laughs> is technically a drug, yeah, you feel me? Yeah, it got them yeah. skull skull and bones on it. Dude. But you know when it comes to this post traumatic stress, you feel me? Like it's usually a, a couple of things that take out a person, you feel me? And we yeah. all suffer, like we all, you know. I've been a victim of gun violence. My little brother been murdered, you feel me? Sure. So it's like, people really close to me. So it's like, it either be gun violence, um, <clears throat> drugs, um, poor health. Yeah, definitely. And definitely. then diet, you feel me? Like, it's usually these certain common things. Is, so it's like, we got to attack the core. You feel me? Because yeah. it's not, it's, there's no longer a coincidence. Like, damn, damn, your man died, my man died. Right. My, my man, your man got right. shot, my man got shot. Right. That is my man. Your, right. your man is my man. Right. Man. Like, it's no longer a coincidence. Like, damn, why, why everybody keep getting shot? You feel me? Why, why people keep suffering the same fate? You feel me? Like, right. So it's no longer a coincidence, right? Damn. So you feel me? That's why I said I feel like extreme measures should be taken. And you know, like, I feel like, bro, we next up, bro. And that takes me to my next subject, bro. Like, when we met, you feel me? Like, we was on a mission, bro. Like, yeah. we was in a powerful position because we next up. Right. You feel me? Right. So it's like, I want you to even just, like, kind of, like, break down that experience because, bro, I was able, you know... You know, sometimes we, we can't really experience what other people experience for watching us, you feel right. me? Because we live in it. Right. But I was able to sit back and watch you, you feel me? Like, present yourself, you feel me? Present your brand. Right. So, like, it was it was no longer just Kwani the artist, you feel me? It was, like, Kwani the, the businessman, you feel me? Yeah, and, really you know, true. you sealed the deal and, you know, whatever, you know, yeah. everything that planned out it came true you feel me y'all made it happen y'all right. made it shake like ex like break down like that process of just not only being the owner yeah the designer you feel me but also the spokesperson the marketer yeah, you got everything. to you feel me, everything you got to be everything and get your brand like man from 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 like from the beginning i started like a clover line, it, was, it used to be called Only Way Up, right? Everybody took toward and you know what I'm saying? Every, only Way Is Up, Only Way Is Up, but it's like somebody else had that trademark and everything, and I was selling clothes, I was selling it, like I was coats, socks, hats, all that, I was getting rid of it. And then it's like, bro, you, you feel me? This ain't yours, this ain't your name, you stealing, you know what I'm saying? It's like you bootlegging, you feel me? So, <laughs> It's like yo, I had to do that. I had to touch common ground with myself and find like find my niche in this like creative space, clothing and, and, and everything. So you know, I took I took what I did and turned it into you know what I'm saying, turned it into clothes like 
from 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 my music, it really stemmed off the music because in order for me to pay the studio time, I had to make a shirt, had to make a hat, sell it. You know what I'm saying? Minus the things I was doing on the side, you know what I'm saying? I, shit I don't want to promote. You know what I'm saying? I was, I was, I was putting clothes together, though. Sweatshirts, hoodies, and man, a man came and got me, you know? He said, bro, I, I love your vision. I see your vision, man. Like, he was like, uh, you ever heard of cultural, cultural advisory? You know what I'm saying? You know, I ain't never heard of it. You know what I'm saying? That's what Wallow is. Right, yeah. I heard that word mm -hmm. again the other day. When I said, damn, Wallow, culture advisor, YouTube. Damn, you know what I'm saying? So now it, it hit me like, so we about to be culture, you know what I'm saying? Of what we culture advisors are. So it, it kind of like, like, it was a new feeling for me. You know what I'm saying? I always took the trips up New York, but it was always to go get the pounds or the crazy, you know what I'm saying? The crazy trips. But now this was a different trip, you know what I'm saying? We going up New York, we going in the building, you know what I'm saying? Instead of walking around and walking, you know what I'm saying? We didn't even know what was in this building, <laughs> you know what I mean? <clears throat> what was that? The tallest floor in the world. We just, I'm amazed by and, it. And mind you, when we go in this building, it's not too many people that look yeah. like us, you feel me? Know. Yeah, man. We the only ones in there. Ain't young, <laughs> you feel me? Ain't young, you feel me? So it's really? like... Man, yo, that was a different, like, it, was, it was different, you know what I'm saying? And, 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 and like, for me to be, like, not a talker, like, I, I, like, I talk now, I open up now and stuff like that, but, but it's, it's, it's at minimum, you feel me? But far as far as me being in that room and how, how I seen everybody that looked just like me, we relating to, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, damn, okay, you got Sam, you got Kiara, you got, you got Tone, you got, uh, Bro, Justin and, and, and you, Jeez. everybody, Keith, everybody in there, you know what I'm saying? And introducing themselves, Dez, Miss, Miss, you know what I'm saying? Everybody. Yes. So it was just like, man, it's a, it's a different feeling. And at the end of the day, I feel like, all right, this is going to make me go a thousand times harder on on whatever. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm sticking to what I'm doing. I'm sticking to what I'm doing and I'm, you feel me? This this what I'm doing. And you know, bro, as I was sitting there looking around and like thinking the same thing you was thinking, and I'm like, man, why they, I mean, why us, you feel me? And then yeah. it was like, then I'm, then I'm looking, and then it's like, why not why us, you not feel us. me? So right. it's like, then you then you play the music for them, you, you feel me? Like, yeah. they learning. Yo, like it's like simple words and slangs they Real don't tough. understand, and we in there translating, and it's like it really just show you the power of owning you owning yourself, owning your brand. You feel me? Owning our culture. You feel me? Right. Because they don't understand it. They they vibe to it. They try to, but right. they got they got to know what to vibe to and what not to vibe. To. You feel me? Like our culture is very shifty. You yeah. feel me? Like for sure. Is 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 beatboxing, beatboxing and baggy jeans back in the day to fit it, and now it's going back to baggy yeah. and it, so it's like it's, it's shifting. Yeah. You feel? Yeah. So even with the fashion, bro, with now you seeing the baggy coming back, a lot of rural oversized coming back. Like how how you feel? Like you feel like you gotta try to keep up with the fashion or sure. like, okay? Like, like you definitely gotta change with the world. And then still at the same time introduce your like what you will put on. Like me, I like I'm 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 front of that baggy area. Like the, the real baggy area t shirts. Yo, t <laughs> I don't know. Tall T shirts. Yeah, yo, t shirts, two X, nigga. We go to the store and get a t shirt. He said two he had a five X <laughs> with the Jabos hey, with the headband. Walk around with the uh Birdman lugs <laughs> on, you heard me? Oh no, nah, we ain't <laughs> we ain't, we ain't do the Birdman. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't do the burn. Nah, this what we was doing. We was on the rock ports. Yeah, hell yeah, rock ports. Yeah, we was on the rock ports. Um, what else? 
Definitely uh, Beef and broccoli Yeah, 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 yeah. We wasn't Sassy. doing no lots But shout out Birdman I, I'm no, keeping no, respect On your name Birdman You had them gloves Boy <laughs> And your ass He had the all red Birdman <laughs> <laughs> Yo still rock them Hey I respect Birdman Hustle You had Flying shit. any Flying any weather <laughs> Oh my god <laughs> Man, for sure. But yeah, but bro, bro took the opportunity to make sure that he presented himself, represented his brand well, and he also promoted. He just promoted himself all over, from the the clothes to him as a and just as a person, and even with the music, like right. he was able to expose them, you know, to to something that they 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 trying to reach. Yeah. Now you gotta understand, Dez is over this region, yeah. but Dez can't get yeah. to the trenches. You right. know what I mean? Right. So it's like they want their analytics has to go up in these regions. You feel sure. me? And it's like, why can't we get to these trenches? So when I'm sitting there, I'm like, damn, this is the trenches right here in the office. You feel know I me? Mean? You got the east side, you got the west, got you got the, the south Baltimore, you feel me? You got Park Heights. <laughs> You feel me? We got DC in this movie. You got you got <laughs> DC in the joint. Real. You feel me? So it's like y- y'all got the trenches right here. Like you feel yeah. me? And then how we had a dot like put together. You like it's really on the map. But this is this is touching bases of the whole Baltimore. Yeah. So it's like, bro, we we in our world because you know everybody living their own life. Um, sure. And you know, like our our paths cross, so now we share, you know, a orbit, right? right? So in our world, bro, we we them niggas, like you feel me? Cause to somebody that don't know what we doing, yeah. like to them is what niggas squares. You know, yeah, they, yeah, where, yeah. Where's, where's the uh, where the bus down? Where right, the, right. Man, like right. bus down, nigga. We just sit. We just. Close this deal and did that, did that. I mean, I done, right. I done expose my brand and yeah. you feel me? It's a process. It is. You feel me? Niggas think you just overnight. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. But um, yeah, bro. In our world, bro, I'm sitting there it's like, damn, bro, we we the next. You feel me? For sure. Now, cause they coming to us, like, right. yo, what's up with the trenches? Right. So um. Social media, bro. Like, talk, talk to me about social media. How you feel about, like, because that's another part of promotion. Like, you got to be on that social yeah, media. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, all day long. And not just one. Like, you got to be on this one and that one and that one and that one. Unless you got an assistant or something or a social media manager. Like, you really got to yeah, put in that yeah, work. Yeah. Sometimes you got to be in DMs. Mm-hmm. You got to be in emails. You feel sure. I me? Mean? Like how how like how good are you with that or how how like how you how you maneuvering around the social media? Right? So social media, I'm not the guru of it, you know what I'm saying? Cause I I see other people social media and be like, yo, they doing it, you feel me? But I know how to I know how to take and post my my, my content and and take the feedback from it and either do better or you know what I'm saying don't go backwards but always do better from this one you know what I'm saying if they don't like it I'm taking it down you feel me that's just simple if they like it I'm going to do something better or I'm going to make something else like this I always everything I drop I always want to be 100% better the next time for 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 my following you know what I'm saying like I got a nice little following, just like it ain't no superstar following, but it's it's, it's there. You know what I'm saying? But as the people take to me, they they comment, they like, they reach, they repost, they they uh, I look at my analytics all the time. The album is being bought, both of them. You know what I'm saying? So it's like social media is, is like it helps a lot, as far as as, far as getting the getting everything. So saw and, 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 and promoted, you know what I'm saying? Especially the clothes, especially the clothes. If it wasn't for uh, social media, I say I'd be out of the trunk with it outside all day long, you know what I'm saying? Well, let me ask you that, bro. <laughs> that funny you said that, bro. Say social media just crashed today, boom, like, 
and they ain't no quick fix like right. they like yeah. yo we we might be down for a year or so like mm-hmm. you think people gonna be back outside like how you think yeah, niggas what? gonna be approaching women <laughs> <laughs> hey if you ain't got to get the gab on the outside like you going you like you had to come with it this time you know what i'm saying i don't know how another nigga approach a woman but you know what i'm saying if if, if it's worth approaching like you just gotta have, have have that game that's it and you ladies too now <laughs> y'all be kind of weird you feel me like y'all be throwing a lot of heart hard eyes in all of the dms <laughs> and then when you we pop out somewhere in public, y'all all shy, shy wall, yeah. walk right by a nigga like, sure, I just like your picture, like, yeah. you, feel <laughs> me, like, you feel me? Y'all making it weird, man, like, you feel me? Like, stop social being media, weird, man. Social media making the girls, it's, it's, it's bougie time, you know what I'm saying? It's like, real weird, All man. they gotta do is post a pic, boy, they join, you heard me. I'm trying to tell you, they might join when they post them pictures. Hey, man, I treat social media like a trap house, bro, For like. Sure. You feel sure. me? I, I ain't gonna lie, like my my um when that client ticket yet. If you go to my um <laughs> you go to my search page, there's a lot of ass on there, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I don't know why they be throwing all that ass and shit on my shit. <laughs> but but I, I be using it for business for real. Right. You feel all me? The because time. like I said, man, people be real phony with this social media, you feel me? Like, cause in real world, real life, like we got some motion, you feel yeah, me? I like, see that same shit, bro. I, 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 I uh, far as, far as, far as, like, like, I see, like, oh, I see this all the time, right? When, like, I have, I have a, a certain thing posted or, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of people would take to it, but they'd be like, these ain't your people, you know what I'm saying? Why well, I don't say this all the day, bro. If your people ain't supporting you, don't stop because they're not supporting you. Keep going, you know what I'm saying? It's a world out here, you know what I'm saying? But still, I get stagnant sometimes. Like, man, ah, what's up with my people? They, you feel them? What the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the I got they hating on this. I got, you know? I got all that. Yeah, time see, ago that's where I'm at with it now. Yeah. Cause I can drop a hundred dollars on this post, and a hundred, two hundred, three hundred people from a whole other country will see it and like it and repost it. And, you know what I'm saying? Then it's like. You still feel some like some you gonna always feel that type of way when it's like, bro, what's going on? You feel me? Motherfucker got to tell and you something. I don't really be like I said, like I, I, of course we just emotional people, you hey, feel hell me? Yeah. And you know it's like Cause look, I like You like, feel like you're I doing it for everybody. Right, right. I put right, on for my right, side. So it's right, like right. motherfucker, like I put on for my yeah. side, bro. It's like Fuck, fuck them out. I'm the only one going to walk in this. You feel me? But I'm just I'm kidding <laughs> with you, bro. This ain't nothing new. You it feel ain't, me? It, it ain't, ain't nothing new. It's just our, our people been so, like, lost that they, even if you right in front of them. Right. They still looking for something else, you feel yeah. me? Because they so lost, you feel me? When yeah. the answers is right the in front of right them. Right in front of you, man. Nigga yeah, man. Just get involved, man. We can go far. Yeah, yeah. man. Like, for real. Like, That's really all. get in tune. Yeah, you feel for me? real, nigga. Get really get yeah. in tune. Just don't like a picture. It's okay to say, like, bro. It's okay to say, bro, um, yo, I seen you, um, was out in New York. What's that about? Hey, hey. How can you help me start my own little clothing line? You right. feel me? Cause I want to try this. I want to try that. Right. It's okay to ask questions. Oh, yeah. you feel oh, me? No, I ask questions. But yeah. niggas swear, oh he in New York. Mm-hmm. Oh man, he ain't fucking with us. Damn. Whatever. He, he, he ain't even tell me he was going. Oh man. <laughs> nah, that's probably where it really go. Bro. No, it ain't probably. Really? It's a fact, bro. <laughs> Because you guys, I ain't never thought of that. Yeah, it's That's a crazy. fact. It's a fact, bro. That's you feel crazy me? though. It's a fact. But once I once I realized it's just people just in their feelings. It's yeah. just like I can't really. You can't. You cannot compete with a mate a imaginary story that somebody made up in their head. You can't yeah. compete with that. Shit, man. Hey, how can you compete with? With, with, with Disney, bro. Like, <laughs> you know yeah, I mean? can't compete with Disney. Nigga use their imagination and kick. Oh, he don't fuck with me. Right. Oh, man. He was, oh, that's, oh, that's Emily's son. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, this nigga with Rock Nation. Oh, yeah. he, he didn't give me a hoodie. 
Like, damn, yeah, bro, shit. like, yeah, we just shit. try to get our foot in the door and, and find out what's going on and get our foot in, you feel me? Real it's shit. a process. It's definitely you know? a process. But that Instagram will make niggas think, oh, overnight. He was, my mask, he was just a ball me, mill, see, <laughs> Looking at me balling, know that Instagram hurt. That's what these, yo. Yeah, it should be crazy, bro. That shit don't need be, be like that. Yo, yo, Listen, y'all, like Instagram that. is for entertainment Same. purposes only. People are characters, people are actors. And I feel like, you know, since Hollywood on strike, right? And everybody's actors, you feel me? Why don't y'all go ahead and try jumping on the bag? Y'all are already Real. portraying this and all that. Just take take your pictures Real. and make a movie out of it. You feel me? You before might as well just... Poor nigga end up with rat. <laughs> <laughs> end up with rat. Go ahead, dude. Hide off and yeah, man. Him, yo. You feel me? This niggas portraying a whole lot of, yeah, you know I man. Go ahead, man, y'all. We know y'all actors. You feel me? Yeah, man. I've been there, done that, I've seen it all. You feel yeah. me? And I learned, yeah. I learned fast, bro. It don't take me a million times for me to learn what's going on. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. I must look, sh- look. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Fool fact, me three bro. times, then it's really my. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, bro. I sometimes did, niggas, don't make, niggas don't make it. Niggas don't make it to that three times. I done did that shit plenty of times, man. You a parent, bro. Hell yeah. Talk about how how it is, you know, being responsible for for a human being, bro. Man, being responsible, I, I say, man, it's the one of the best things in the world. You know what I'm saying? You take care of your kid, wake up every day, and you know what I'm saying, making sure that they they not, you know what I'm saying, going down the path that you ever went down or. They got everything that they need. They going to the best schools, and it's just like it's just like doing something for them that wasn't done for you, or even if it was done for you, making it ten times better on them. You know what I'm saying? And and I had both my parents. You feel me? wasn't in the same household, but I still still I still got my parents. You feel me? So it wasn't like yeah. I'm, I'm that type of person. I, I come from a broken home. My father's so drug. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Everybody come from the same shit. Everybody, mother getting high from people selling drugs. All that shit is the, the, the same shit for real. It's the environment, It's the bro. environment, yeah. It's the environment. So, like, how, how I wish I came up was mama, mama, uh, successful, daddy, successful, but it, if it is what it is, that's the nurse. If you gotta change now, you gotta make sure you successful and the person that you dealing with successful so the household could be even more successful. And when you gone, your kids will be way successful and you instill on them that down the line, their kids will be successful and successful and successful. So that's a generational curse you're breaking right there on the rip. That's a fact, bro. Cause you know what, bro? It be niggas, women, yeah. like they be they be stuck on their childhood, you feel yeah. me? They be still be mad at their parents for things that happened as a kid. And mind you, you grown and you got your own kids now. Yeah, and now it. you kind of like spilling that into the, the next generation when you just got really, you know, I had to do it and I think everybody should just like really just say, you know, I'm grown now. Yeah. It was the past. I can't change the past. Yeah. What can I do for the next generation to make sure you feel me? Just let it go, man. Let it go, man. Your parents, they if they still here, just let it go, man. Yeah. They was kids. We was we was kids. You feel me? Like, look, we had we got kids, so now it's like it's time to level up, man. For sure. And you know, like, I'm just glad to see you out here setting an example and just being in that position, bro, because. Doing what you're doing and being in those type of rooms is it sky's the limit, bro. You don't know where it's gonna take you next. You feel me? It's all about just being consistent, man. Real tough. You feel me? So listen, man. Kwani about to uh, drop the exclusive, man. Check this out, man. <laughs> But when I needed it, they ain't have a shit. Fuck a key to the streets, I'm a lot.